Uh, good under yours, or... I'm going to do a careful tear down of this Philips LED light. I've already uh, put this top off. It takes a bit of effort. You have to really grab this and just twist it, and it pops off. There's a heat sink underneath this bit of plastic. It's quite a nice sort of unit. No, 13, yep, 23rd week, 2013. Excuse these bloody hiccups. They were annoying. I'm gonna, since there's a white LEDs, I wanna try my um, multimeter diode test function on them. Let's see if they light up or not. I wonder if it wasn't for the heat sinking um, issues, I could stick a 100 watt CAB LED module in this thing. Custom design this front bit. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Hey, this is actually a heat. Uh, hang on. Right, hang on a minute. Actually, this is actually. No, it can't be. It sounds like it's metal. Plastic outside, but we've got a metal heatsink within that. That's kind of cool. There's a heatsink within this plastic. So if I were to modify this in some way, depending on the power supply circuitry, I can stick a 100 watt chip on board module LED inside this and modify the heat heat sinking without um, compromising too much of the shape. It might kind of look like this one in the end, a big heat sink like on that one. Imagine a 100 watt CAB module inside this, if the power supply can handle it. Hmm, that'd be cool, imagine that. Anyway, let's get the multimeter out. My diode test mode is on. Okay, other way around. Hmm, not lighting up. That means it's not a very good meter. Oh, that's not very good. It's not lighting up. Interesting. Some LEDs will light up on diode test function, but not all. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Let's uh, pull the LED module off. Which should in turn take this plastic uh, retainer off. Let's see, eh? Interesting. That top bit's obviously a heat sink. It's like a bloody tin can, it's completely sealed inside there. <coughs> wow, quality build. This thing's virtually waterproof. And that's, yeah. Let's see what's got here. Nit, N I C H I A. <coughs> Nitsia. Nitsia brand. Must be the manufacturer there. Nitsia 757 30 up. Underscore 12 11 oh, wait. Bit of scratch marks on there. Oops, excuse me. Bloody hiccups are annoying. Ply, see if I can try and pull this plate off without too much um, damage behind there. I'll see what quality components this thing uses. Well, that's not coming apart. Don't want to damage it too much. I don't know what sort of voltage I'm getting across these. Let's get a light fitting and test it. Now it looks like I can put one, two, three extra LEDs on this thing. A zero ohm link. Yeah, let's see, yeah, I can add two more, three more LEDs on this. Hmm. Interesting. Bloody hiccups. I'm kind of blinded myself. That is a lot brighter without that diffuser on the front. Whew. That we are to restore back. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, get a reading off this. <coughs> All right, I'm going to try this. I'm not getting blinded. This is going to be a challenge. I'm going to be pretty blind by the end of this. So if I put that in there. What have I got? <laughs> Try again. That's on DC, yeah. 
Ah oh, well, I can't see because I'm so bloody blinded by this thing. Pretty bright. Well, look at that. Do it again. Let's see if they're all working. Yep, they're all still working fine. Every single Ooh. one of those are working. So when you turn them off, you make sure they're all going. A lot of cheap ones, half of them will be dead. Anyway. Oh my eyes, alright. That's it all back together. Pretty neat how it's made. Very solidly made with light. And these are sort of bunnings, see by the way. Very well made. Yeah, uh, yeah. The reason, um, they did glue on well, but yeah, somehow a bug, the odd bug seems to get in on some of these. Not all, some. Oh, there's a few bugs in the lens, so I'm gonna have to try and put it on the other part to uh, clean the bugs out of that one. Pretty well made bit of kit, actually. Quite like those bulbs. Anyway, thanks for watching.